Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Welcome back to another Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Show and Shine video. Now today we're going to be taking a look at the 1932 Ford Model B Victoria model. Now this car was actually designed up by Edsel Ford back in the day. And we're going to take a look at my AMT build of this model kit from a long, long time ago. So without further delay, let's go down to the bench and see how I built this amazing model. Rather than just updating the Model A, Ford launched a completely new vehicle for 1932. The 1932 Model 18 was the first low-priced car to offer a V8 engine. The big news for 1932 was the addition of the brand new Ford 60 horsepower flathead V8. Although there is a certain visual similarity with the predecessor Model A, the car was new. Other than the engine and the badging on the headlight, support bar, and hubcaps, it was virtually indistinguishable from the V8 Ford Model 18s of 1932. While the Model A has a simple frame with two straight longitudinal members, the new car got a longer wheelbase and an outward curved double drop chassis. The fuel tank was moved from its original location in the Model T's and Model A's behind the cowl to a new location in the lower rear of the car as is typical in modern vehicles. This required Ford to install an engine driven fuel pump forever ending its gravity feed system. We hope you're enjoying this video so far, our nice little look at the model car collection. And if you're looking for a great channel which showcases model cars, also talks about new releases and has unboxing videos as well as tip and tech videos if that's right up your alley don't forget to like subscribe and share this channel with all your friends and family so now let's carry on with our great model car expose ford sold 298,647 v8 powered 18s in 1932. the v8 models cost ten dollars more than the ford model b's with the inline four engine one of the most popular models was the two-door Victoria, which was largely designed by Edsel Ford and based off the Lincoln Victoria Coupe. The price of the 1932 Ford Model 18 Victoria was $490, which is equal to you paying $9,732 in 2021 US dollars. The engine of our Model 18 Victoria was the 221 cubic inch flathead V8 with the three-speed sliding mesh manual transmission. The wheelbase of the car is 106 inches, which is equal to four and a quarter inches in 125th scale. All 1932 Fords came with black fenders, wire wheels, and a rear-mounted spare wheel. The spare wheel was mounted on the side if a tailgate or luggage rack was equipped. Of special note, on April 10th, 1934, notorious bank robber Clyde Barrow extolled the virtues of Ford's V8 as getaway cars. Dear sir, while I still have breath in my lungs, I will tell you what a dandy car you make. I have drove Ford's exclusively when I could get away with one. For sustained speed and freedom from trouble, the Ford has got every other car skinned and even if my business hasn't been strictly legal, it don't hurt anything to tell you what a fine car you got in the V8. Yours truly, Clyde Champion Barrow. This all caught up with him in 1934 when they were killed in a 1934 Ford. The AMT 1932 Ford Victoria came out as two kits stock and hot rod in 1963, combined in 1964, as the Bonnie and Clyde getaway car in 1967, a fire chief car in 1970, in the street rod series in 1973, under AMT Ertl in 1977, again released in 1990, and under round two in 2019. There are also some lend-lease versions from Model King and DTR out there. So let's go down and check out the box art for all these different models.
Thank you for watching this video up to this point. It really means a lot to us. And if you're enjoying these great model cars, we want to offer you a special promo code where you can save a little bit off your next purchase at www.monster-hobbies.ca. Just enter the promo code YouTube so that we know that you watched this video on this channel and then got interested enough in our model cars to maybe pick up a few. So that promo code once again is YouTube over at www.monster-hobbies.ca. Here's my build of the AMT 1932 Ford Victoria and you can see that I painted this with testers black paint back in the day. I do believe this is another one of those builds I built when I was maybe 12 or 14. I did add in a license plate from a monogram kit. That's an Illinois one that was a sticker based one. I do believe from the 1929 Ford that my dad owned, or the 30, I guess it would have been. Uh, again, I painted this much like the side box art of the AMT kit with those wonderful red wheels. Everything else is gloss black, the perfect gangster style getaway car. Again, another wonderful model. I love the little back on the Victoria. And the hood also comes up, and we'll take a look at the engine in a moment. Here we have the driver's side view of the V8 engine, and you can see that there's no steering column coming down here from the dashboard like there should be. One thing that I had trouble with back in the day was connecting these upper radiator hoses to the actual radiator, so that's one thing I would like to correct in the future. Here we have the passenger side of the engine, and you can see that I painted the spark plugs in here. The coil is sitting way in the back, underneath in the firewall. Here's our air cleaner with the downdraft carburetor, and our generator are right here. Our V8 engine shows the crossover pipe underneath. Now note that it goes to the front of the engine and not toward the back like in modern cars. And that's a little bit different. You can see it sitting there right in front of the tie rod and very close to the front axle. Here we have the undercarriage of our 32 Ford Victoria. And this one is actually shared with the 32 Ford Featon model kit in that it has a separate differential and then separate exhaust pipes and manifolds. And we also have the separate gas tank here. And then our front wishbone, we have the idler arm and connecting rod. And we also have our front transverse axle. Now, because the Victoria is a closed car, we can't really see too much of the interior. However, there is our steering wheel, and we also have our two front bucket seats, and you can see the bench seat in the back. The back of our 1932 Ford Victoria displays the wonderful covered tire. This is also included in the Ford Fiaton kit. Thank you once again for watching this great video of the 1932 Ford Model 18 V8 Victoria. And you know, if you want to help me build a model car museum to showcase both my model cars and my dad's great builds, don't forget to click that join button for as little as $3 a month. You can help us reach that goal. You can also check us out on our Patreon page, and I'll leave a link for that in the description below. So until next time, everybody, I really hope your model car builds turn out just as perfect as you need them to be. And happy model building, and we'll see you on the next video.